at that time. In the United States, I think something about the Oriental, the, I mean the true Oriental should be shown. Hollywood sure as heck hasn't. You better believe it, man. I mean, it's always that pigtail and bouncing around, chop chop, you know, with the eye slant and all that. A screenplay written by Lee entitled The Silent Flute, which detailed the personal quest of self-discovery of a young martial artist, is torpedoed by Hollywood. You know, he was in a kind of a poverty status there, and he was having a tough time, and, and he would write in a letter and tell me that he was working on a vehicle and something like the silent flute or equivalent to that, and then uh, the letter I got the next month, he would tell me that that fell through because... Uh, uh, in one instance, he told me that uh, they just felt that uh, a young Asian couldn't carry the, the lead in something like that. Undeterred, the young man forges on. He conceives an idea for a television series that will feature martial art philosophy, originally to be called The Warrior, but later renamed Kung Fu. Even when he conceived the idea of the Kung Fu series, had many, many uh, planning discussions with the eventual producers of the Kung Fu series, when it got right down to it, they did not hire Bruce to play the part of uh, the leading part in Kung Fu, instead going for a Caucasian man. And uh, the word was that Bruce, because he was Chinese, was not considered a bankable commodity. Let me ask you, however, about the the problems that you face as a Chinese hero in an American series. Have people come up in the industry and said, well, we don't know how the audience are going to take a non-American? Well, such question has been raised. In fact, it is, it is, it is being discussed. And that is why the warrior is probably is not going to be on. I see. You see, because uh, unfortunately, uh, such thing does exist in this world, you see, like... I don't know, certain part of the country, right? Where, like, they think that business-wise, it's a risk. And I don't blame them, and I don't blame them. I mean, in the same way, it's like in Hong Kong, if a foreigner come and, be, and became a star, if I were the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, mon the man with the money, I probably would have my own worry of whether or not the acceptance would be there. But that's all right, because if you, if you honestly express yourself, it doesn't matter, see? Lee now realizes that Hollywood only wants Asians to play grossly inaccurate stereotypes. Despite his dire economic circumstances, he refuses to accept roles that would portray the Chinese race as anything less than equal to other cultures. With a wife and now two small children to support, Lee's dignity and philosophical principles come at a huge price. With money rapidly running out, he now realizes that he is wasting his time with Hollywood.